Hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3 where frame rate's been a little weird. I don't think I'm running anything in the background. But I'm missing my health bar. Is that is that normal? Isn't that usually up there in the top left corner? Look, I'm concerned. I'm slightly concerned. Um Hopefully everything doesn't decide to blow up. But yes, we are gonna go here, or well, here. We're gonna go do the white. Okay, so we need to go to this. I'm just making sure, okay, there it is, all right. I wasn't sure if it went away like when I wasn't in combat or exerting the stamina or whatever. Couldn't remember, it's been so long, ha ha ha. Please don't be the kind of place that will not let me fast travel. I feel like, yeah, yeah, there's actually, uh, hopefully it lets me, without having to destroy the monster that's in there, because, because that would suck. I don't want to deal with it. I left Roach over there with it. He can deal with it. Swimming, swimming, swimming. How is everybody today? I'm tired. And I... Don't feel so hot. I don't know what that is. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. And I'll probably just run here too. Because I don't want to waste time with these dogs that are going to appear. Excuse my bottle of soda. Oh my gosh, for the first time ever. Come on, game. You're not that bad off. Stop with the frame skipping. I could- I know we just went through all that effort to get the manticore gear- oh no. But... I don't want to worry. Look how fast they are. I don't want to worry about it right now. Oh, what am I trying to do? Come here so we can go faster. Come here. No, oh, I did. Dev oh, okay, so now we're supposed to go this way. I hate that the little path changes its mind sometimes. Never a good omen. Never a good omen of what? Gosh. Ah. Uh, fix my sword, which is just ridiculous. It's going, it's getting a beating. Getting an absolute pummeling right now. These things are like five levels higher than I am. Exactly like are we talking like 
it will refill everything immediately, or...? I don't think we have to worry about poisoning so much. Sure, we can increase our critical hit chance. Why not? What's that one? Adrenaline points. It's cool. Increases maximum vitality. Sure. We're almost out of uh, lots of stuff, to be honest. To be perfectly honest. Alright, good. That's good. Okay, right, this is the place covered in spoons. Okay, well, it's not covered in spoons. I got spoons hanging from the tree. That's it. I thought there were spoons, like, all over. Embedded in the ground. Yo! Strange. In a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm. A message. Trying to tell me something. Oh, yeah? Well... Pontificate away, my, my good man. There's actually, for some reason, it feels like the music is really loud compared to speech and everything. Like, I love the music, but especially in the fights, it sounds exceptionally loud. I, like, want to meditate that's probably a good idea, huh? Okay, meditate. Uh, oh, we, uh, off we go. No, wait, I don't want... I do want this again. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I won't come in all greeny-faced and whatnot. Scare whatever lives. Wow, I meditated in the perfect spot. Those are some gargantuan spoons. There's words over there. I missed them though. None shall oh. sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Wow. Someone was very angry. Is it the Somebody's same curse? Clearly obsessed. Over and over again. The place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Or is it the person who's been cursed is carving it on the wall is like being and they're all upset, you know? Or was it the person who cast the curse? A pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. Spoon? White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Th thoroughbred? Is now using. That's cool, DK Domination. I'm happy that you're doing that. Why is Steam popping up? Look at all the free. It has a lot of spoons. More spoon? Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Does it have a hole in it? Oh. Oh. For a few days now, I've been having divvy, dizzy, divvy spells. 
I've never experienced anything like this before. If it carries on, although I can't stand with trap and sorcery, I'll have to visit an herbalist. Oh my goodness gracious, I'll have to go to the doctor. Instead of pray, pray it away. Dizziness has not gone away. Um, worst of all, it's been joined by pain, so strong that at times I cannot see. I've been to an herbalist or a pulse of oak crone. Looked at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me some curse mixture that I have to drink twice a day. It's not helping at all. Oh, is this a woman or a man? I thought it was a man. Uh, it still might be. Uh, today, like every day, I looked in the mirror and was lost for words. I mean, that th was nar nar. The guy whose word whose name means narcissist is is a man. So. <laughs> oh crap. Today, like every day, I look in the mirror once for words. I usually check that I don't have any wrinkles or bags under my eyes. But today, there are no wrinkles, but I'd rather that there were. I have hair growing on my breasts. Oh, it's horrible. It's got to be because of those damn herbs. Okay, so this is a woman, I would assume. Because men grow hair on their breasts all the time and aren't particularly concerned about it. I went to the herbalist to smash her face in, but her chambers were empty. She must have known what happened to me and legged it. Uh, I really doubt that a fine noble lady could smash in an old crone's face. Like, I really just have the biggest doubts on that. My family is starting to uh, suspect something, although I'm cutting the hair back, which is growing faster and faster. I've tried to put the idea out of my head, but I can't hold it back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that have led to this, but a curse placed upon me by an old beggar whom I ha had to chase off one time. I have to find out. I want to hire someone who can find the herbalist. I cannot think, and it's getting hard to write. Loneliness, no family. I want to eat, not a good spoon, empty spoons, nothing, eat, it hurts, mirror, lies, no, ah, ah, bleh. okay, this is getting creepy. Girl realized she was changing into a monster, recorded it in her diary, poignant. Is that a, a play on how people always write down, like, spoons incredible, the craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. You know, like in horror movies and stuff. People are, or they like take time to like write with blood on the walls as they're dying and all that. Ooh, get the spoons off me. Ooh, lots of spoons. Oh, okay. In a mug. Broken mirror. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. So is there a the white monster. here? Journal's author, maybe. Because this, like, I don't think a white would do this, and a white isn't a hairy monster. I, I don't think, from what no I saw. No you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally, still searching for the right spoon. Yeah, and they, like, ritualistically bound them up into... Thing in my bobs. Another spoon. <laughs> Just as normal. Ah! I was okay. I was wondering about the family thing. I was wondering if, if she, because she's like no family, because she's like my family's beginning to suspect, and then she's like, um, no, no family, and I was like, this one looks like a key. Ah! <laughs> there's a description. White's a true collector. Certifies Adam up for auction. Belongs to. Sh oh, okay. So I, I was thinking, I was like, they probably put so many keys in here, or so many spoons in here, so that you would be tempted and, like, you'd be like, oh, they're all normal, blah, blah, blah. And then you pick up one, and Geralt even says it. And then he's like, and then it's like, just kidding, there's one that's actually important. But it's not for this quest, it's for something else. Anyway, I'm pretty sure she killed her family or something, or maybe the curse did, but if she was turning into a monster... None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection This is creepy! La cage a faux! What is that? What is that? <laughs> White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Yeah, you better believe I'm gonna poke every spoon I see. Yeah, you know, joke, this is an important thing. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This oh. have anything to do with the curse? 
None shall sit and dine with you at your table. Oh! That makes sense. Yes, there is a vibration. Examine each skeleton. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Oh. Broken neck, indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head by something heavy. So maybe this isn't the family, but it's uh people that they tried to have come over and eat. Uh but they couldn't because no of the claw curse. Or fang marks. Probably choked to death. Oh, it was like choked on the food. Like the girl was like, please blah, break the curse. Eat at my table. And they were like, man, I wish I could, but I'm dying. What spoons? That's fine. I don't want them. Uh oh. Dear Master Levisue. Mmm, Levis, you mm, not mm, okay. I know you track outlaws for pay. I have an unusual assignment for you. No doubt you wonder why I have drawn you out here and why we cannot meet in person. You see, in my present situation, any kind of meeting is very risky. Not so much for me as for the person with whom I meet, for I am afflicted by a curse, or as I hope and why I turn to you, the side effects of medicine given to me some time ago by an herbalist. Soon after I visited this herbalist, she disappeared out of trace. Uh, so since when? I thought she was like decaying in like her intelligible speech her sentience was decaying but uh this seems like a pretty normal written letter i desperately wish to understand my illness so i wish to hire you to find her when you do learn as much from her as you can about the medicine she gave me if my suffering is a result of her wickedness then make her provide an antidote i assure you i have ample wealth and will reward you with no small part of it for your services if it turns out my suffering is not the fault of the herbalist, please let her go. I will then have a different task for you, because this shall mean I am afflicted by a terrible curse which only the gods can cure. I believe it was cast upon me by a certain beggar who came by the manor while I was hosting well, huh, hosting a soiree for a few friends. If you can find that vagrant, I will pay you double. Sadly, all I remember of him is a soul mirrors. All right. It's not... Not gonna happen. I'm sorry. This is nope. Mm -hmm. I'm aware this is not much aid for your hunt, yet I trust in your considerable talent and wish you the best of luck. Marlene de Trastamara. Uh, it could possibly not be the mirror man, uh, because I'm sure there are merchants who run around selling mirrors. Um, this kind of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, which is a French fairy tale. Um, but instead of the man turning into a monster because he turned a beggar out into the snow, it's a woman turning into the monster because she turned a beggar out during a party. And the beggar... I feel like in some variations they did sell mirrors. I mean, there was definitely a rose involved, but like maybe not the mirrors. I don't know, that kind of strikes another fairy tale-esque uh, tone. Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. Are, are, are we done now? You can't turn into a white. A white is born, right? I, I don't. I don't know. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I felt the vibration. Hmm. <laughs> Run. Game saved! I was literally about to do that. Can't save my game right now. Thank you for doing it for me, then. I appreciate it. What? Ah. Or is that just the ignite? Yeah. Extinguish. As far as I remember, whites are supposed to be fairly reasonable creatures. Uh, they're pretty sentient. And actually does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere Please, around here. For the love of all that is holy, no. Spoon, Don't make me go down there. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Don't make me go whoa. whoa.
Aha. And I was looking for Whoops. Why it's not particularly tidy. Actually, I mm, can I mm, can I <laughs> I didn't, I was like, haha, I'm going in the side hall, because then, um, I'll find whatever's in the side hall, and then I'll go down the main, the main path, but apparently the main path is this, or that, the freaking side hall, and, mushrooms, Oh, I hear you. All right, let's see how this goes. Let's just actually get the, what we came here for. Maybe, ooh. Oh, well, thank you. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. A normally, <laughs> I keep thinking these spoons are creatures. Table set. White, who lives here, is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. Oh, okay, so I found all the clues. The white is cursed? That doesn't really make any sense. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Smoky, here it goes, oh boy. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. Dang it. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Hide? Hide? In, in here? Okay. I was like, there's nowhere to hide! Maybe I should have gone down that other hallway. I can freaking hear it, though. We're gonna meditate standing up. Let me just tell you right now that these are literally my least favorite monsters just from the picture. And, and I don't... I don't... I don't want to do it. No, I don't. Look at all the spoons she's got attached to her. Nope, we don't want to. Nope. Try. Nope, I don't. I'm not looking at her. I don't want to. No, I don't want. I'm gonna keep right now. I'm not gonna hurt you. Want to help? I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it. Whoop! Mm. I'm like not, I'm like not even, I'm kind of like looking, but I'm not. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna puke. I'm all kinds of. You tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. We are not. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. I will not. Oh, I'm gonna. Mm, I'm literally. I just. I just ate a cinnamon roll and I will never be. Oh my gosh. I will never be the same. Uh Need to get
get this right, words of the curse were, none shall sit and dine with you at your table, no spoon you have shall say to you, never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um... No, oh girl. So it's either let's swap spoons or not use the spoons. Like... Because there's no spoon you have will sate you. Uh, and no. No, let's not use the spoons. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. Ah! We need to eat without She's just spoons. mimicking me. Does she understand? <laughs> no, please, Garrett. Garrett! Because otherwise Geralt's gonna die, I think. Because the curse will affect him too. Maybe? And is the only reason he's able to survive this long is because he's used to Witcher brews? Woo! I am. I think it worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Yeah. Be hard to find given its stench. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he did that. I can't believe he drank it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, whoop, back out. Okay. Mm. Hold on. Okay. Maybe we'll go back and check the I what what was in the further rooms after this. Ooh, it's very dark out. Yeah, my toxicity levels up pretty high. All right, you went splashing through the water. If you lead me to any bar gas, I'm gonna be mad. Alright, you did. It's fine. Oh god, I feel sick. Oh, the light, the whatever, the whites are so nasty. Oh, that's right. Okay. We're a bit limited on our options. Oh, you're a ghost now. Easy. Not gonna hurt you. Eat. I, I must eat. Oh, you're human? Not a ghost. I'll take you someplace safe. So you can turn into a white. Uh, be, you can be cursed into a white. I didn't... Weird. I thought they were like, kind of like vampires. Creatures that came from the beyond, or from the conjunction of the spheres. Man, it's like learning grammar rules. 
Which one is applicable on which situation? Blah, 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 blah. My house. She said, my house. By the hand and let her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might Don't actually let her take eat a too while. much. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. <laughs> this is the thing I figured out. Let me tell you, bro, let me tell you my story. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. How <laughs> imagine so. But most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Oh man, I wonder if I missed anything down there. In Thanks. that Gotta get back hovel to my business she now. lived in. See you soon. I wonder what happened to her family. Um we need to meditate. <laughs> well, I think that's as good a place as any to call it for now. Sorry, it might be kind of a cliffhanger, but um next we're gonna go talk to Regis. So look forward to that. I am, yeah, I'm gonna go right now, but I'll see you guys next time.